friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day and I have a huge grocery haul. It was my monthly, it's actually been almost two months, trip to Sam's Club, Trader Joe's, and I went to Kroger, which is our fry store, so a Kroger store. So I have a huge haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into this massive grocery haul. So here is my rather large, massive grocery haul from three stores. I actually made a trip into Sam's Club to, in Tucson, and then I went to Trader Joe's, of course, because they're right next to each other, and I haven't been to Trader Joe's in so long, and I also went over to Fry's to pick up all the groceries I couldn't get at Sam's Club and at Trader Joe's. So we have a massive, massive haul. Let's jump in. So starting with Trader Joe's, I always pick up dog treats. They have some of the best prices and the best dog treats. So of course I had to grab the pumpkin recipe treats. And then these are new. These are pumpkin maple bacon stuffies. How cute is that? So I grabbed some of those and then my dogs really like the charcuterie. It's these little like charcuterie board treats and they're the perfect size. They're small, which is exactly what I need because my dogs get lots of treats every day. So the smaller, the better. So I grabbed three dog treats. I've heard really good things about this organic spaghetti squash nest. So basically this is a pasta substitute. It weighs literally nothing. I guess it's dried spaghetti squash. You throw it into water and you can use it as a zero point pasta replacement. So I'm really excited to try that. I love spaghetti squash. I just hate cutting it and cooking it. So I thought that that would be a good way to still get in spaghetti squash with a lot less work. And then this is a new item and I saw these and kind of skipped over them. And then on the end cap, they had them with a sign that said they have eight grams of protein. So I grabbed them to try. These are the broccoli fries, crispy, crunchy snacks. They actually look really good. The whole bag is a serving and obviously you don't have to eat the whole bag, but there's eight grams of protein and eight grams of fiber. That is incredible. So I'm really excited to try those out. I thought they would be a good, healthy, crunchy snack. I also grabbed some sesame oil. The one at Trader Joe's is the most affordable and I have a recipe for dinner this next week that needs sesame oil. I wanted the sprouted sourdough bread and I asked up front and they haven't had that for a long time, she said. But this one is a great option. It's sprouted wheat, multi-grain bread. There is six grams of protein per slice, which is Awesome, I think the sourdough one had seven grams, so that's why I was after that. But I just keep it in my freezer and pull out one bread, slice of bread at a time, and it is sprouted. So it has nice clean ingredients, 90 calories per slice, and a big punch of protein. I also grabbed a can of sliced olives. I like Trader Joe's olives, and they're a really affordable price, so every time I go, I just add one for my pantry. I'm excited to see these. These are mashed sweet potatoes. So they're little sweet potato pellets and all you have to do is warm them up. There is nothing in them but sweet potatoes. So I thought, again, super easy mashed potatoes, super convenient, and you just keep them in your freezer. I also picked up the vanilla bean paste. I buy this every year for baking. It is so good, and it's only $5. A little jar like this on Amazon is upwards of $20. So if you can grab this at Trader Joe's before it's gone, highly recommend, especially for all of your holiday baking. We did some rolled oats, so they had a huge bag of gluten-free rolled oats, so I picked those up. And since I didn't go to Sprouts, I'm going to try the Trader Joe's Just Chicken. You guys know I like to have the pre-made, ready-to-go chicken on hand for my mashed potato bowls. So I grabbed that. It was actually a pretty good price. I think $8.99. It's delicata squash season. We love delicata squash. These are only 99 cents. So I picked up two of them. Can't wait to roast them up. I may actually have Troy throw these on the barbecue when we cook up a bunch of meat tomorrow. So I'm really excited for those. And then I always stock up my cheese. So the light shredded mozzarella, 
the light shredded cheese, and then I always pick up the Jarlsberg Swiss. This is only 50 calories a slice, and I love this cheese. It is so, so good. You can't beat the prices and the quality of the cheese. I also grabbed the fall leaf corn tortilla chips. These are so cute. They're in shapes of little fall leaves. We're actually having my in-laws over for a Halloween dinner, and I'm gonna throw these out with a dip that I picked up at, Sprout, at Fry's, so I'll show you the dip too, but I couldn't pass those up. I thought those were so cute. I also couldn't pass up pumpkin cream cheese. This is one of my favorite things that Trader Joe's puts out every year. I almost got two because it is so far away, but I decided just to get one and enjoy it and indulge in it and be done with it for the year, but it is really the best pumpkin cream cheese. And lastly, of course, another pumpkin item. These are the Trader Joe's pumpkin spice chocolate covered espresso beans. These are really good. I like to just have one or two. They're sweet. They're very coffee-y, but this little pack was 99 cents and I thought, you know, it's fall. Might as well pick them up. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. Let's jump in to what I picked up at Fry's, which is a Kroger store. First thing is a two pack of pie crust. I actually have a pot pie recipe on my menu for dinner this next week. So I grabbed the refrigerated pie crust. And then I picked up this dip from the brand Stone Mill. This is the garlic urban feta. This is what I think would be really good with these tortilla chips or crackers. I am planning on making a Halloween inspired charcuterie board. So I could throw some of this dip on there too. It just sounded really, really good. And it was on sale for $1.99. So I picked that up. Some caramel rice cakes. I wanted the Quaker ones, but they were out. So I just grabbed the Kroger ones. I love my American dream nut butter on these for a snack. I also grabbed two of the good culture cottage cheese because I'm completely out of cottage cheese. And you know, this is my all time favorite. I was going to get the full fat, but they didn't have it. So I did grab two of the low fat good culture. Culture. some buttermilk for a dinner recipe and then it's here already and that is the zero sugar peppermint mocha coffee make creamer so I'm done with pumpkin spice creamer now and I'm moving on to peppermint mocha this is actually my very favorite coffee creamer so I grabbed it because it usually sells out pretty quickly I needed some hoisin sauce for that recipe that I needed the sesame oil for, for. the Kroger one is really good and really low calorie only 35 calories per serving a can of biscuits this is for the pot pie recipe so this will go along with those refrigerated pie shells and then lots of pickles so I did spot these zero sugar no sugar added sugar free whatever you want to call them, bread and butter chips. Sweet pickles or bread and butter pickles are my favorite. And I thought these would be great because there's no calories and no sugar. And that's the issue with bread and butter is they're sweet from so much sugar. So I'm excited to try these. And again, that's my favorite kind of pickle. And then I restocked our dill relish because we were out and our sweet relish also out. We've been making tuna salad and you need dill relish for that. I grabbed Troy some potato salad. He really likes this particular potato salad. And whenever it's on sale, I like to pick one up. And then I did, of course, no surprise to anybody, grab the family size of the Bob Evans mashed potatoes for my copycat KFC bowl. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I actually shared that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So I'll link that video down below for you. Raspberries were four for five at Fry's, which is a great deal. That was even more affordable than at Sam's Club. So I grabbed four packs of raspberries. Some more Fritos for Troy. He's been liking that with the Dean's French onion dip that I bought for him last week. I have a couple of ripe avocados. So I think I'm going to make some guacamole again, these fun chips with some guacamole. So I grabbed the fresh success guacamole pack, some uncured pepperoni. We've been liking our little non bread pizzas and Troy's been adding extra toppings to frozen pizza just to amp them up a little bit. And the natural choice uncured, which is the cleanest was the same price as the Hormel. So I picked that up. Also some diced ham. This is for my meal prep. Wait until you guys hear what recipes are on my meal prep for Monday. I'm super excited. And then I did grab some produce as well. Some honey crisp apples. These were on sale and I need apples for my meal prep. I also needed some fresh chives. These are expensive. Since when are these little packets over $2? I swear they were like $1.29 at one point. And then I picked up some celery and some carrots. So that is everything from fries. And last but not least, let's hop into Sam's Club. 
bought my Halloween candy for the year. So according to my neighbor, we get lots of kids, two to 300, she said. So I made sure that I had enough candy. These little mini Reese's pumpkins are only $10 for 65. So I thought that was a really, really good deal. That was the chocolate that I picked up. And then I opted for the big value pack of Skittles and Starburst because what kid doesn't love Skittles and Starburst? And this one has 255 pieces for, I think it was just under $18. So not a bad deal at all. So between the big bag of Skittles and the Reese's pumpkins, it was only about $30 for candy, which is not bad if we do get the two to 300 kids. I also grabbed Windex because we go through a lot of Windex and this is a much more affordable option. It comes with the Windex sprayer and then a big gallon refill. I spotted this in the frozen section and I thought also with those tortilla chips, this will be great for our Halloween get together. This is cheesy corn with applewood, bacon, and hatch chili. So it's a dip. And I thought that that would be really good with the chips. You can also use it as a side, it says. So I grabbed it, it was on sale for $5, which I thought was a great deal. And then another case of Bush's Baked Beans for Troy. He loves having these. I told you guys that he puts them in the fridge and eats them cold, which is weird, but he likes them. So I picked up another eight pack. I always grab protein shakes when I'm at Costco or Sam's Club. I really, really wanted the pumpkin spice premiere and they did not have it. So I'm just gonna keep ordering off of Amazon. I'll link the cheapest pumpkin spice premiere protein down below for you. I found the cheapest price on Amazon. So that's where I'll continue to get that. But I did grab the Fairlife chocolate. And then how fun is this? I was so excited to see it. I actually had the gingerbread cookie popcorn as a snack with a meat stick on the way home. This is the Skinny Pop Holiday Collection. So you get five white chocolate peppermint, five gingerbread cookie, and six of the Snickerdoodle. Oh my gosh, this popcorn is delicious individual little bags, so it's hard to overeat, which I really appreciate, and it was affordable, less than $10 for 16 bags. You know my love for potatoes, and I saw that they had an eight pack, four buttery home style, four roasted garlic, Idaho, and potatoes. We like to have these on hand. It's so easy to make for a lunch or dinner, so I grabbed the box, and then I also picked up an 18 pack of organic cage-free eggs. Also more dog treats. I always buy dog treats at Sam's Club and Costco too. These are the Boyce's Bakery Pumpkin Spice. These are really clean ingredient dog treats. They're wheat free and I want to say they were $15 and this is a one and a half pound bag. So really, really good deal. I paid over $5 for a tiny little bag at Target. So I grabbed those for the dogs. We can never have enough dog treats. Of course, some more non-fat plain Greek yogurt for my yogurt bowls. Another thing I always stuck up on, this was less than $5. And Sam's Club actually sells milk by the gallon. Costco, you have to buy two gallons. Sam's Club, you only have to buy one. So I grabbed a gallon of 1% for Troy. Also the spices, the prices, the selection at Sam's Club can't be beat. And I was out of garlic salt and the Lowry's is my favorite. So I grabbed a big container and then we were all also out of taco seasoning, and this is really the most affordable way to go. It was five or six dollars, I think, for each of these big containers of seasoning. I also spotted this, which made me really happy. This is a three pack of the Heinz gravy. This is what I use on my KFC bowls. Again, that recipe was in Wednesday's video. I'll link it down below for you, but this was a great deal. You can also use this for the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday and Christmas. Really excited. It was six dollars for three jars. You know that my favorite meat comes from Sam's Club. It's my all-time favorite. This is the members mark honey or oven roasted turkey 12 grams of protein per serving so every time I go to Sam's Club which is one of the main reasons I go is to pick up their brand of lunch meat I also found these new tortillas these are the Gu Guerrero brand and these are the Nutra Riches Nutra Ricas anyways they're low carb tortillas they're only 50 calories a piece and they have four grams of protein and they were six dollars for a double pack and I thought that was a great deal I almost got the mission car balance but these actually have much better ingredients and were a little bit more affordable as well a big pack of sliced Colby Jack cheese this is Troy's very favorite sliced cheese and then for myself this whole little pack of baby bells three different flavors was on sale for ten dollars i thought that was such a great deal so there's the sharp cheddar the white cheddar and the gouda and ten dollars for three packs of baby bells is great when i was in california we ordered one bag from instant cart and it was almost seven dollars so the fact that this was ten dollars i had to grab it a big bag of little baby potatoes these are my favorite for roasting i love roasted potatoes and now that we are in the cooler months that is a staple for me i roast up potatoes and vegetables as a side for dinner all the time some canadian bacon because it's a super high protein low calorie option and i love to make breakfast sandwiches out of these and you get two huge packs for 
$9. Also a big two pack of GIF for Troy. We were almost out of peanut butter, so I picked that up for him. And last but not least on the counter, I also bought a case of Diet Coke, which Troy has already put away, and a big bag of water softener salt, which is in the garage. But for in the house groceries, lastly is from the brand Farmer Joe. This is their granola. I have looked at this time and time again and never bought it because it was expensive. Well, it was on sale for $4.50 and I had to pick it up. It has the cleanest ingredients. It has pecans, pepitas, ginger, pear, and coconut. Does not sound so good. Now, granola is pretty high in calories and points, but I only put a couple tablespoons on my yogurt and in my yogurt bowl, so I grabbed it. I was so excited to see it at such a great price. So that is my massive haul from Sam's Club, Fries, and Trader Joe's. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinner and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for dinners for the week. So today, Saturday, we're actually going out for dinner. Tomorrow, we're doing Sloppy Joe's. We got inspired from my in-laws last weekend, so we're gonna make homemade Sloppy Joe's. On Monday, I'm doing chicken pot pie with biscuits. So you guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, Tuesday's Leftovers, Wednesday's a taco night, Thursday, I'm doing a sheet pan dinner. I haven't done one of those in a hot minute, so I'm excited for that. And then Friday is leftovers as well. That way we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I cannot wait, you guys. So for breakfast, I'm making ham and cheese scones. I love savory scones, so I can't wait for that. For lunch, I'm doing honey garlic chicken. This is a slow cooker recipe. So if you don't have a lot of time to meal prep, this is going to be huge for you. And then for dessert, I'm making maple oatmeal apple pie. We had apple pie at my in-laws and it was so good that I'm gonna make my spin, my healthy spin on an apple pie. So stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Sam's Club, Trader Joe's fries. We have lots of new food finds. We are stocked up for candy for Halloween. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because we do a grocery haul every single Saturday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, link and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, take a moment, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you over there as well. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.